Hi, hello, how are things? My name is Sierra Black and this is a cast speed video of the mashup I did of the original Breakfast Club from the 1984 movie, uh, one of my favorite movies. It's a mashup of those characters and the movie poster from The Sims 3 that was available in Build By a long, long time ago. And I always wanted to remake this poster. I was able to follow some simple steps that show you how to recolor build by items. I will list out the steps in the description, but it's fairly simple. I used a mixture of Canva and Paint 3D. And it's pretty much the first CC I ever made, um, which is pretty cool. I can't believe I like made something and it's in my game. And of course I had to use um, Batty Sims Breakfast Club, Club Pose Pack, which was pretty essential. Um, but first I had to make all the sims. The first sim I made was the athlete played the athlete played by Emilio Estevez in the movie. I really liked the name Emilio so I stole it for the sim and I ended up making him a darker tone Latinx male with a bigger muscular frame. I'm also consuming a lot of Umbrella Academy related content right now since I finished the third season not too long ago and there's a little bit of Diego in his features too. I'm grateful that there was already a letterman jacket with patches in my CC folder so I didn't have to go hunting for one because it was perfect and all the CC will be linked in the description. I'm hoping to use these stones with the soon to be released high school pack that will be out soon although since it, I made them into a poster they can't just be regular kids so I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these particular stones right now because other kids in my game will have this poster on their walls. So the two ideas that I'm stuck between would be a whole group that is internet famous and they all live in a house together and pretend to go to high school for a reality show. Or um, I have this group of sims that are living in a man-made simulation like the Truman Show but like high school Truman Show and they're the only ones unaware that people watch their lives every day. You know. Um, but I'll figure it out I'm sure. The next sim was the character labeled the basket case in the movie. I forgot to hit the record button on the beginning of sculpting her face, but she's probably the closest face-wise to the sim 3 picture, and then her outfit is more so Allison from the movie. Probably the character that I identify with the most, especially growing up and when you feel so unseen that you forget people can see you when you do weird shit. Um, but hopefully I've grown out of that. I haven't. I've There's probably like 20% left in my personality, but what are you gonna do? I did have some clipping issues with her outfit, but it was worth it to get all the layers on her. And uh, she also has this chip nail polish that I love, but because it isn't listed under nails, under the CC, it's listed under rings I think. It's hard to see that detail in the video, but I highly recommend the CC because it looks uh, cool in game.
Then we have John Bender. I changed his name to Jesse. Um, I always found this character to be so annoying, but I know he's like necessary for the conflict of the movie, but um, he's a real menace to society, but he comes from a pretty tragic home life, so it makes sense. Um, I made him Latinx like I did with Emilio because in the Sims 3 posters, their skin tones read really similar to me. I went back and forth with whether or not to give him a mohawk, but this shaggy hair was just too perfect for him and this archetype, although we are all more than our archetypes. Then there's Brian, whose name is still Brian. I think he came together the fastest. He's just wearing a sweater and khakis with some department store sneakers. He's precious. Uh, best character in the movie, which, is, which isn't really something I realized when I was a kid, but on rewatches, he, his emotional breakdown, how gentle he is, how earnest he is, it makes the movie one of a kind. His performance, I think, elevates the whole movie compared to other John Hughes movies. Even movies with this same actor, I don't think, like, reaches the impact of this performance. And, and especially to talk about, um, like, suicide, I just don't think they... I don't remember any 80s teen movies that were really talking about teen suicide. Um, so, that's pretty wild. Really, and really the whole movie is just characters talking in the room when you have teenagers. That's really hard to do when you have teenagers because their problems can seem really temporary, especially if adults are watching the movie. When you can just think like, oh, you'll grow up and you'll get over this. Um, which has made John Hughes special because he made teen movies for teens with teens at the center of it.
last sim is teen queen of all teen queens molly ringwald as claire claire isn't really a mean girl she's like a girl who's committedly indifferent towards everybody else but her friends which is which is there is a slight difference there her outfit is absolutely my favorite both in the movie and in the game that i uh, was able to kind of mimic i i have a real need now for a pale pink button down crop top in my life she's chic as hell I also gave her diamond earrings. You can't see them with this hair, but I thought Claire had to have diamond earrings. It had to happen.
Thanks for watching. Peace.